All right, welcome beautiful people to another Body Odor Vlog. Today is Friday, tonight. What time is it? It's 8.42 p.m. It is a Friday night. It is the 29th of July. I just found out recently that I forgot. I didn't forget. I uploaded my video last week. I uploaded a video of a vlog last week, but didn't upload properly. So when I went back to my channel, it said it failed to upload. Now I just recently just re-uploaded it. So now that's on my channel. But this is 82. I don't know, 8, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, this is 82. And uh, I don't know. I guess I should talk about body odor related things. I think a little bit uh, last, for my last video, I talked about, whoops. For my last video, I talked about how I'm, I'm going back to the doctors because I just can't not go to doctors. Even though I do feel that all of them are incompetent. I don't, I don't say all of them are incompetent. They just don't have enough information on how to resolve it because it's so rare. Um, so it's, it sort of felt pointless, but at the same time, I just can't continue living my life, you know. Just just having this weird condition and doing all the things I have been doing for the last, well, for the last 17 years, trying so many different methods. And I have found some success, but I never found like ultimate success, just ultimate treatment that has dropped it to such a, a, a minimal, a minimal scent that I can live a normal life. I mean, I guess I could, but every now and then, you know, I notice people react to me like the other week um went the other week i went to i went to a bank i went to a hospital i went to a mall i went to a park i went to a farmer's market and all these events like you know the, the in terms of the reactions it varies but definitely when i went to the bank i went to the bank to open up a cd um, to invest in a CD and motherfuckers were like, I didn't realize how bad, because you know, I can't detect myself, but I didn't realize how bad I smelled because until like people started, has this ever happened to you where you're in a room talking to somebody and then somebody walks in or they're really close to you and it sounds like they're holding their breath while talking to you? So they sound, it sort of sounds like they're retarded in a way because they have like a deep voice like, D -d -d -d. like, okay, I'm gonna do this. You know, they have that type of weird voice. I noticed that when I was sitting in an office trying to open up a CD and the woman that was trying to help me was always like, whenever she got in contact with me, she would always get her, <laughs> her hand sanitizer and then slather some more antibacterial on her hands and shit. Like I gave her my, uh, what's it called? I gave her my, my ID because she had to check whether or not I'm me or whatever to verify that I am the actual person that owns the account. Um, I'm tired of that shit, basically what I'm trying to say. And I just can't just not go to doctors even anymore, even though I do feel that the majority of the, the responses is just gonna be like, I don't know how to deal with this. Matter of fact, I talked about, I didn't really talk about this a little, I didn't talk about it enough. Um, a couple of, maybe a month, a month or two ago, I went to a primary care physician and within the primary care physician, I, yeah, I break, basically broke down why I'm there. I told her I have this unknown uh, condition that causes me to smell and, you know, I get the typical response like, oh, well, maybe, you know, because I started talking about from high school to now and then, you know, Typically, the, the response is, maybe those kids were just being mean. And I'm like, no, it wasn't just in high school. That happened all throughout my life, from high school to college, to workplace, to going somewhere uh, hundreds of miles away. Every place of setting I'm in, whether it be a gym, whether it be in my neighborhood, it was the same response. And then he was like, oh, well, I guess I'll uh, refer you to a dermatologist. I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck can a dermatologist really do for me? I'm saying this is some, like, digestive shit that's happening. Some weird digestive issue. But it's that's the thing. It's like when you go to just regular doctors, they reckon, refer you to just, like, doctors that you know can't help you or dermatologists. 
Matter of fact, I went to a dermatologist uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I didn't go for body odor related things. I did it because I have like, um, I have, whenever, I always have like ingrown hairs. I have shaving problems. Whenever I shave, I get ingrown hairs and I have discoloration on the back of my, you know, on my neck. So I was going there for that because, you know, I never been to, that was the first time I've ever been to a dermatologist. But that's besides the point. Going back to body odor related things or just doctors, talking about doctors. Yeah, man, even though I know majority of my interactions with doctors whether I'm, I'm just going here's another thing I, I remember I remember explaining in my last vlog I was talking about how I talked to I went to a gastroenterologist and he told me he I explained the story to him and he's like he cannot help me so he gave my money back and uh, but at the same time I also asked for some type of referral or some type of person that you that I think he could uh, list out that maybe I can do some research and try to find and he listed out two guys a guy named William Shea and a guy named Augustin Pimentel Augustin Pimentel is actually in Miami William Shea is somewhere in Michigan or Illinois or whatever and he's supposedly some gastroenterologist but the Augustin Pimentel guy is an oncologist I didn't know what an oncologist was, but I looked at him up and he was under my plan. So I'm like, okay, good. Maybe I can call this Augustin Pimentel guy. And maybe he has this specialized knowledge about digestive disorders. But long story short, found out like oncologists have to do with like cancer and shit, like the study of cancer. So he was recommending me to a cancer doctor and that, that didn't help uh, at all. I legit was like called called up to, like the office he's like I was like hey I'm I'm here because I want to uh, um because someone referred me to Augustine Pimentel because they said that he would know something about this condition that I have blah 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 explain the condition and the woman on the phone was like yeah um that has nothing to do with cancer <laughs> So uh, I don't know if this is the right doctor for you. So yeah, also went back to Monell, the Monell Center. If anybody has not heard of the Monell Research Center, you know, the, those were the guys that usually, they, they did some studies on TML and had, had some reports about it and so on and so forth. Now when you like email them, they just recommend you, they direct you to, um, um, the Children's Hospital of Colorado, because those are the only people that study or do, I guess, um, urine sample tests for TMAO. But I know I don't have TMAO. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I don't know what it is. I don't know how. I feel like there should be some type of laboratory, some type of doctor you can go to where you can say, hey, there's something wrong with me. I have this, uh, whenever I eat certain food, I give off a certain odor. And I think there are certain chemicals or odorants, that are certain, certain, I don't know, molecules are not being broken down properly, which ex exits out my skin and my urine, which causes me to smell horrendous. Is there a way that you can look into my urine and see if there's any excess amount of whatever molecule or whatever chemical or whatever you know what I'm saying because that I think that's how it happened within the first team out uh, patient like there was just some doctor who said okay we're gonna do a test for you and they you know they got his urine they examined the urine and they determined hey there's a high amount of choline or a high amount of this in your urine I'm think, and that was in 19 that was in the 70s right so I'm pretty sure there should be some type of laboratory or some type of research, I don't know, center that has that type of uh, way to analyze your urine or sweat or saliva or something like that. It can't just be, it couldn't just happen in the 70s, 50 years ago, and I can't do the same thing and figure out, okay, I have high amounts of this thing. So it might mean I have X or Y or Z. That's what I'm trying to look for. I don't know if it's really a doctor I'm looking for, but like a research center I'm looking for that can do that. And I, you know, with the, 
again, with the Children's Hospital Colorado, they're only examining it for T. Mal. And I think, I strongly believe I have something that's not T. Mal because based on what I eat, um, a lot of the stuff I'm eating right now should not be, I should not be able to eat the stuff. For example, I eat a lot of soy. I eat a lot of tofu. And I don't think tofu is making me smell bad or because I know for tofu, people who have tea mal, tofu is really bad, but I'm eating the motherfucker and it ain't shit. Um, what else should I talk about? I guess I could talk about this week. I mean, I was thinking about, I was thinking about how it's like almost toward the end of July and how I really haven't done anything or accomplished anything um, within this year. That's the thing I always feel, that's the thing that bothers me about having this condition is like, I never feel like I've done enough or I'm not living my best life or whatever, you know? I just feel like I'm just coasting. I'm just coasting, I'm just, I'm existing, but I'm not living, you know? Oh, I like that. That should be the title. <laughs> I'm existing, but I'm not living, you know? I tried to do a lot of things within this year, and there's a lot of things I've done that I have never done before. Like, you know, going to certain museums. I've been to way more museums than I ever have. How many museums have I been to? Maybe like three or four. Um, I went to a, a couple of beaches, right? Some, some beaches I have never been to before. Um, I, uh, I went to a strip club, you know, and I, and I got a lap dance, you know. Um, I went to a nightclub. I went to a nightclub, uh, last week on a Saturday and <laughs> I went to a nightclub on a Saturday and you know what's so weird? I went to a nightclub on a Saturday and this is the thing, I was like freaking out. Like I was, I was planning to go to this particular nightclub, but the first time I, I saw the nightclub, I was like, uh, maybe next week, <laughs> right? Cause I was like, I was like anxious. I was like, I was getting anxiety just thinking about going, right? But then one day, you know, on a Saturday, Saturday night, I was like, fuck it, we're going to this club, right? Because an another reason why I want to go to a club is because uh, dating apps suck. So I feel like just meeting women like out in the wild would be better. But that's another story. Uh, that, that should be a whole vlog in itself. Um, but so I went to, I went to this club called The Bottled Blonde. And when I got there, well, when I got there, I found out, well, I don't even, you know what? I'm not even like, a, you know, I'm not even a club expert. But I'm not sure that was actually a club. I feel like it was like a club lounge. I don't think it was a club. Um, because when I got there, I was like, okay, how much is the admission fee? And he said, the mission's free. So I'm like, what? So, but you have to, you have to go to the, this guy to pat you down. So I'm going to this guy to pat me down. And he's like, patting me down and shit. And then like midway through his little patting down to see if I have any weapons or drugs on me, he looks at me and he was like, what did he say? He said, is there something wrong, sir? And I'm like, no. And then he just started patting me, continues to pat me down. And then once he finishes, he talks on his little walkie talkie, guy with blue shirt is coming in. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I was like, that was weird. So I, I'm still in the club, so I go in the club lounge and you know, it's loud music, a lot of something music I like, whatever. I only stayed there for 13 minutes because I just felt like really out of place. And when I left, and I left out, you have to go back into the entrance to leave. While I was leaving, the motherfucker was like, this guy smelled, when I, when I pat him down, this guy smelled like shit. I heard it from afar, you know? And that shit like <laughs> really fucks you up because this makes you feel like, bro, no matter where I go, even if I go out in the wild to try to approach women and shit, like, I'm pretty sure they would have the same thoughts. So what's the whole point of even going outside and having a nightlife? Well, my, my camera's overheating, so I'm probably going to end it right here. But I want to say this. Um, 
So, in my bathroom, the ceiling was molding. They had some type of mold that was happening. And to make a long story short, apparently from upstairs, they are leaking, their pipes are leaking, so the water is hitting like this specific spot which caused a mold outbreak. And I told people to fix it. I told the, you know, the fucking office about it. And I'd been telling these guys for like the last three weeks. Finally, the repairman came in and he said, okay, I'm gonna fix this thing. Um, he told me this today, I'm gonna fix this, I'm gonna be here, fix this thing. And then 30 minutes later, I'm gonna come back to apply another coating. And then on a Saturday, I'm going to um, sand it down. So he did this first, his, I guess his first draft. And he said, 30 minutes later, I'm gonna come back to apply another coating. This guy never came back. And this, all of his shit is in my fucking bathroom. Hold on, I wanna show this shit, hold up. Before it overheats and shuts off, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at this shit. Let me see if he... This is my bathroom, right? This guy left like some bag of shit here. Left all his equipment and shit. All this dirty crap on my fucking bathroom and shit. And this is the... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. This, is the, this is the spot that he fixed it. Or supposedly fixed it. He never came back, bro. Now I don't, I mean, I could technically still take a bath here, but I've been thinking about just going to a hotel and wait till he finishes the shit. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, in any case, I'm going to end this thing right here.